G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Just got a bit of a mail call this week. Uh, for some of my UK viewers, they might recognise this stamp, sticker. I've got something from overseas. It's from Caledonian Coins. Darren Harvey at Caledonian Coins, PO Box 7678, Perth, P h 21 jh if you want to send him anything you can use that PO box or go to his channel caledonian coins on youtube it does uk coins and i've sent him some of our coins and he has reciprocated by sending me something back which is outstanding and uncalled for but it's great it's great so i'm going to open this up see what he sent well i have a, a fair idea but we'll see how it goes Try not to kill myself or anything. Oh, and he sent me a letter. Oh, that's excellent. He has sent me a fridge magnet, the Cal Cali Brew Extra fridge magnet, which is fantastic, and a couple of Caledonian coin stickers. They're great, that'll, that'll go well. And he sent me a postcard, which I'll read out. Hey, Phil. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to write to me all this distance away. Also, a huge thank you for the gifts. I love them. I have enclosed a couple of wee gifts of my own. Not as cool as your gifts, but that's my fault for blowing the channel budget on coins, banknotes, and cat food. All the best from Bonnie Scotland, from Darren, Elisa, Felix, and Muffin. Well, Darren, thank you very much. That's a lovely card, and the sentiment, uh, honestly, blows my mind that coin tubers around the world and talk to each other send each other gifts find out about each other's coins and be happy in the process but thank you very much for sending this to me oh and i have to insert this in there but i forgot to show the other side of the postcard it is a lovely picture of a train going over a bridge which is the glenfinnan viaduct in the west highlands i hope i said that right i'm sorry if i didn't but that's a very nice picture. And I know that Darren loves his trains. So thank you very much for sharing that with me. Uh, certainly the fridge magnet will go on the fridge and it'll be pride of place. And the stickers will get put around. So thank you very much, Darren and Lisa, Felix and Muffin. All right, well, that's it for this bit of mail. And we'll see if we've got some other mail as well. So back in a sec. And so here we have another piece of mail that I bought from the internet was on ebay been looking for this one for quite some time actually so as i'm cutting it out here uh, it's come from overseas again uh, i found it quite easily we pull the packaging apart and some of you who know your pncs will see that it is a joint australian uk pnc with the 2005 coat of arms and the 2005 50 pence uh, commemorating World Heritage Sites. So as I get it out of the plastic here, we note that the cover has got stamps from both the Royal Mail as well as Australia Post. We have a look at the number and we have a look at the organizations that also send it out raw mail the royal mint australia post and the royal australian mint and as we get it out of the cover we see the world heritage sites listed and the different uh continents that they're on so the booklet goes through a number of the sites lets you know which ones they are across all of the continents in africa in india australia Britain, Canada, Brazil, as well as the Heard and Marshall Islands in the Southern Ocean. So this 50 cent piece is low minted, uh, 30,000 only. So I picked it up for just under 85 Australian dollars uh, through eBay UK. And uh, that's my new coin.
I was searching around the internet for uh, other countries' coloured coins to see if there was any other country coloured coins, and I've come across this coin, which I didn't know about. And obviously, it's one of those things I hear that Canada is doing something with coloured coins, and I, I haven't heard enough about that either. But uh, this caught my eye, and it wasn't particularly expensive, so I thought I'll uh, I'll have a crack at at uh, getting that. This is this is a coin that is from Papua New Guinea. Uh, it's in a it's in a flip here by the look of it. Uh, it's come from I'm in Australia. It's come from the Czech Republic uh, via obviously Papua New Guinea, but it's a Papua New Guinea coin. And the thing about Papua New Guinea coins is I think they're minted here in the Royal Australian Mint the majority of them so I'll have a look at that that's the uh, Papua New Guinea coin 50 toa 50 toa and on the other side it is a colored coin so it is the coin the commemorative coin for the what is it the 15th Pacific Games in Papua New Guinea Port Moresby in 2015 so this is a six well nearly seven year old coin colored a colored coin now let me see if i can close see if i can open this up and, and get it out without uh, putting too many finger marks on it and, and seeing what it looks like holding it by the edges so there you have it oh the light that's the light there with the colors of what has it got red black yellow blue and green which is the olympic Colors. So let's have a look at the rotation that would be the orientation there. Let's see if we can flip it around so that we have it there. So it has 15th Pacific Games, Papua New Guinea, Port Moresby. So there you go with that logo sitting up proud there. It's a very nice, very nice looking coin. Just as it's a coloured coin, and I like coloured coins, that is the only reason I got that coin, just to uh, have other countries' coloured coins. And now I'm going to probably go back and have a look at the Canadian Mint and see what they're doing with their coloured coins, if they are indeed, and see if I can find others. There are some others that are a little bit older, but they are, they are not, in my opinion... Well, let's, let's not even give my opinion, but th this coin was particularly nice to look at, and... Uh, uh, and given that it was most likely done by our mint anyway, uh, something that I wanted to get into my collection. It's not usual that I would get foreign coins, but there you go, there you have it. So just a few words about that. All right, that was all I wanted to show you, and thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.